Yes. Genesis 1.26. In King James Version, at God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fall of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Genesis 1.26 in New International Version, NIV, then God said, let us make man in our image, in our likeness, and let them rule over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air, over the livestock, over all the earth, and over all the creatures that moves along the ground. After creating the universe, God created human beings. The Hebrew word for God here is Elohim, and it is plural. That is why it is followed by the statement, let us make man in our image. A plural word is used because God is three persons in one being. He is triune, three in one, three in one, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, and He created man. Human beings did not gradually appear by natural processes. They were created. Furthermore, wild fish, birds, and livestock are said to be living creatures, Genesis chapter 1 verse 20, only human beings were created in God's image. This means that we were created to rule. God is king of creation and he authorized human beings to rule over the world in love, to rule in love over all that he has made. This does not mean a domini domination and oppression of creation, but rather a responsible and caring oversight of the earth. This was our original mission. Amen.